and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today monday the 17th of april 2023 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today of course on friday we saw us equities sustaining mild losses but really this was a pullback from what was a good week overall uh, of course us earnings season ramps up this week we did have some positive bank numbers on friday come out uh, we see the some of the big tech uh, reporting as well as some of the big banks and then we move into the industrials next week and we see the first big tech stop tomorrow night with netflix reporting after the bell us futures are just above neutral in early asian trading asian markets are generally higher with the asx up 0.2 percent european markets are pointing to a positive open and the vix is still below that 20 support the us dollar index continues to look weak and we did see a slight bounce on friday off support that meant gold pulled back a little bit towards 2000 but we're seeing some buying coming back into gold in asian trading this morning copper has paused at resistance and looks as though it might end up being range bound for a little while and all is trading near neutral really closing the week showing no gains no losses which is the second week in a row that that's been the case bitcoin had a stellar week last week along with other cryptos it's paused 11 month highs and we'll see where that goes due in the course of the week but there does appear to be some buying pressure coming back into cryptos over the last fortnight as we said us earnings are in focus it's quite a day today with the ecb chair uh, christine lagarde speaks the only significant news tomorrow we've got a big day we've got the rba minutes we've also got uh, chinese gdp out and then we ramp up not only with some of the data uh, culminating with global pmi data out on friday but also of course those earnings season reports a couple of charts we're going to look at technology one limited these are now trading at all-time highs you can see we did have a breakout on friday not a convincing candle but slightly uh, more convincing this morning up at 15.24 which looks very significant uh, we have been trading in a range with $15 the resistance since the back end of January so this breach or this level could be interesting very difficult to find a significant FX trade but we are seeing a little Aussie strength and a little euro weakness as the two main currencies moving uh, we like the Aussie yen chart technically if it moves up and test this 90 cent level you can see here this was important back in the beginning of April as well as mid-march so this looks like an interesting level on the four hourly chart if we get a move above 90 cents we could see it up around 70 or 80 pips to test 9086 and that would be one worth having a look at throughout the course of the day you can see it is having a positive day in asia bouncing off the support at 8950 trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now